Welcome, witches, wizards, muggles, nomadges, and len no magique. I am Victoria McLean, bringing Hogwarts to you every Tuesday and Thursday, 6 p.m. GMT time, here on my YouTube channel. And today I've got something very, very special to show you. This has to be one of my most favorite, if not the favorite, of my official Harry Potter items. So for me, this is where the magic starts. Now I've done a talk, I've done two talks on this item in fact um, over the last so many years because it's one of the items when I bought it I realised that I was becoming a professional collector or a, uh, a, a proper Harry Potter collector or an obsessed Harry Potter collector however you think about it that was me in a nutshell basically. Now this item I saw on a, a Facebook page a long time ago, I didn't know it existed, and somebody put it up as one of the items that were most sought after. It's beautiful. However, it took me six years to find one. And as it is a special Quidditch item, I am wearing my robes by Cine Replicas today, just for the occasion. It's that exciting. So here it is. I don't know why I do the Jaws theme tune, what the hell? <laughs> I think that's probably what it was like for me when I was looking for it. I was that desperate to get hold of it. It was like, how dare anybody get in my way? Oh my God. <laughs> but this item is absolutely stunning. This is a 24 karat gold plated golden snitch puzzle piece. Now this has to be one of my most favorite items. It is a Japanese exclusive. There are only 5,000 of them that have been made. Um, this one, as I said, it took me six years. I think it was six years to find one. I didn't find one. Somebody I knew back then actually found one on eBay because I was looking and they were looking and a few other people were looking um, and they sent me the link. Now the pictures on eBay were terrible. This item looked so dirty um, and badly tarnished. Um, like the sun had got to it or it had been over polished. It just looked awful. But I thought, do you know what? I've been after one for so long. I'll get this one and then if I see a better one, I'll sell this one and get another one. But when it arrived, it was like brand new. It was still wrapped in its cellophane. Um, it comes with a beautiful box, which is also wrapped up in this purple sleeve. So it was very, very much complete. Now this is beautiful. I'm so nervous to touch it. Now I paid, I think I reported to the BBC last week about £60 for this. These are worth now probably, if you're lucky, about £800. Now somebody posted up, oh god it must have been last week, if that's your favourite item why hasn't it got wings? Um, there are wings but you have to look for them. There they are. It's a puzzle piece. It doesn't come with wings. The wings are on it. It's a beautiful, beautiful pitch. Now between you and me, I have been trolled no end um, since announcing my Guinness World Record attempt, which is still going ahead, obviously. Um, but you know what? <laughs> Jealousy will get you nowhere. Anyway. So this has the word Quidditch across here with two broomsticks going down. I can't move my arms very well because I've got these blooming great leather things on my wrists for better effect. I'm so much effect, however, I can't catch anything, so I can't even catch this. But it's gorgeous, so if you, it's magnetic, so if you were, don't ever do it though. If you ever get one of these, don't take it apart because it took me forever to put the pieces back together. But if you were ever to take it to have one of these and you did take it apart, it is magnetic. So all the pieces stick to it. It's very clever. And then underneath this is another puzzle, like it, it, another pattern again. It's really beautifully detailed. Now, as I said, this is 24 karat gold plated and it is just magnificent. It is one of, if not the most treasured item in my possession. 
If I had a Philosopher's Stone first edition, that would be it. But for official items, this is my tr most treasured official item. As I said, this is from Japan. They only released 5,000. And I think it was around the time of um, Chamber of Secrets. It was uh, 2002, I think, because the back of the box is obviously all Japanese, so it's really hard to tell what it says. Now, my Golden Stitch puzzle piece comes with a beautiful 24 karat gold plated base. And it's obviously numbered there. It says, um, 1,016 of 5,000 pieces and it's it's just beautiful it is 24 karat gold it's very hard to do this and of course it's got the Warner Brothers on the back there to say it obviously is an official item which it is and it sits on top like that now I don't tend to display it for those of you who know um, when you're collecting or when you have something that's plated, you've got to be very, very careful because it's very easy for these items to lose their gold um, or to silver. It silver tarnishes terribly if it's plated, so you can't really polish it. Because as soon as you start polishing it, it'll take the silver away and it'll expo expose the metal underneath. This is, is the same, so you have to be really careful. So I've displayed it for a little while. It sits in my cabinet just there behind me. Um, so it's being displayed for a little while. Um, and then it'll go back in its box and be put away. It's because I've had it all this time. I must have had this. I've had this about four or five years now. Um, it must be that, or it could be longer again, I'm not sure. But I, I don't display this. I never display this. This only ever comes out if I really want to look at it. Same with my Arthur Price um, Hogwarts goblet, which I will do a piece. Oh, I have done a piece on recently. Um, it's beautiful. So if you check out my Chris, no. Um, my top 10 favourite items in my collection, this and the Hogwarts Goblet are in there, it's beautiful. But this is just so, so lovely, it's got fingerprints all over it now because I'm handling it, which I will give it a little bit of a wipe afterwards. But it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it and the fact that it took me so, so long to get hold of this item just makes it for me even more special. But this is such a stunning piece, so if you ever see one, and it's a good price, I would go for it because these are such beautiful pieces to have in your collection and they are only going up in value, they're brilliant. Now luckily, if you do take it apart, it comes with a little map. And there is the map. So this shows you what it's on the front. So as you see, there's the golden snitch and there are the two broomsticks I mentioned about. This is what it looks like on the plinth and then obviously you've got Harry Potter and then the number there that it would be just here at the bottom on the golden stand. Um, so this comes with it. So if you're really struggling to put it back, if you've done, been silly and you have taken it apart, I was exactly the same. I wanted to see how quickly I could put it back together. <gasps> um, and then you have this lovely map with it which tells you where everything goes. Thank God. So I was fine. It took me about a day to put it back together because it was so terrible. It was so frightening more like. So there we have it, my beautiful 24 karat gold plated golden snitch puzzle piece um, by Warner Brothers, released in Japan back I think in 2002. So this item is 17 years old already. It is gorgeous and so worth collecting if you ever find one, but you're gonna pay a rather high price for it now, but it is definitely, definitely worth collecting. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, invite your friends, and also like this video and let me know down below in the comment section, what did you think of this video? What would you like me to cover? Until then, thank you so much. Take care, I love you all, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.